Speleology Sundays, how cavers make cave maps. Have you ever wondered how a cave map gets made? I mean, it's not like the GPS works in the cave, so you can't use the same technology. Today, I'm gonna show you. You need paper, pencil, a protractor, a clipboard, a tape measure, a clino compass, or if you're lucky, a Disto X2. So you have to set stations and take a front sight and a back sight and then record those measurements and sketch the cave. Which is all fine and dandy, you know, surveying and walking passage, but a lot of caves are not. So you're laying in water trying to read a compass, right? And clino. So that's why it's pretty amazing to have this expensive piece of equipment. Because you know what you do? On. Boop. Now I have the azimuth, the clino, and the distance. Didn't even need the tape measure. Now, of course, that's just getting the measurements, right? You've also got to sketch it. So you've got to get, write down all those measurements and then start sketching the cave as you see it. So it is a little bit of an art. You have your drawing tools to help you make sure to get the right distance and the right angle. There's still a lot of work to do. Now you have to input it in a computer, scan the sketches, and create a map. And it takes a skill. It's kind of an art, but there are standards. By the way, if you like cave maps, you should really come in our gift shop. The Bluff Dwellers Cave Map is beautifully done, drafted by Ben Miller and many volunteer surveyors. You can see the map here is for sale. We have the map and a select photography from within the cave, and all proceeds benefit the Missouri Speleological Survey. This allows them to continue their mission. The equipment to do this is not cheap. And there are over 7,500 known caves in Missouri so far. Every year we find new caves and a very small percentage of them are actually surveyed. Now remember all these people are volunteers. They're going out on their days off and spending hours and hours in caves, getting muddy, wet, crawling, and pushing themselves to the limit to bring these maps to you. So come and buy a map and help support or go to Missouri Speleological Survey website and donate today. And this is gonna be cold outside. It's winter and I decided to do this video now instead of in the middle of summer. Fun.